All right, guys, we're here with Brandon Haney of St. Peter Auto Body in St. Peter, Illinois, and they're wanting to sell their 1964 Ford Thunderbird. Um, his last name's Haney, but he's no relation to Mr. Haney from Green Acres, so he's not a swindler. Um, they've had this car for 30 years, bought it in 1993, and decided that they were ready to get rid of it. It's only got 48,000 original miles. You guys bought it where? Nevada. In Nevada. It was always a rust-free car. It's never been in an accident. So basically, you guys just did an exterior paint on it, correct? Correct. Uh, no body work really needed to be done. The bumpers were both re-chromed, and the headlight doors were re-chromed. Um, it's got a brand new convertible top as of last week. It's a 390 Z code four barrel. I think that's what they all were. Um, this was 1964 was the second best selling Thunderbird from 1955 through 1976, selling over 92,000 units. 1960 being the number one, but only beat it by a little over 300 units. Um, it's one of 9,198 convertibles out of the 92,000 and some odd 64 Thunderbirds. So, and it's red, so it's pretty desirable. Um, it's got factory air, which is working, which is a 400 and some dollar option back then. Working power windows, working power seat, working power top. Um, it does have a, what do they call it, like a vintage radio. You, you've got the, he's got the original AM radio, but he put a vintage radio that fit right in there, you know, like something from Custom Auto Sounds or something like that. So we're going to get the camera off there and we're going to walk around and after that, we'll get it up in the air so you guys can see under it. See, it's, it's all original under there. No rust whatsoever. So let's walk around it. All right, Brandon. It's got new tires on it too, doesn't it? Right. But you guys have only put how many miles on this thing? Maybe 2,000. Maybe 2,000 miles in 30 years. And it does run and drive good yet, still. The, the, the drivetrain really is all original. Nothing's been touched. Um, Took it for a 35 mile drive the other day. Yeah, actually this convertible top is only a week old and he drove it home from the place that put it on in Effingham, Illinois. And that was over a $3,000 repair. <laughs> but they did a great job on it. Do we know what the color is called? I don't either. I don't know if that would be candy apple red or fire engine red or what they would have called it in 64. Even the seals around the fender skirts look brand new. Did you replace those? All the gaskets on the car is new. All the gaskets on the car is new. Every one. Even like you mean around the doors and everything? Doors, trunk, hood. Doors, trunk, hood, all of those gaskets have been replaced. All the lights work on the car. Now this car does not have sequential turn signals. They didn't come out until the next year, 1965. Along with disc brakes actually was an option in 65 too. This car would have drum brakes all the way around it. When he uncovered it the other day, what you do, you laid the antenna somewhere and you don't know where it's at, but it's here. And it just screws in. So he does have the original antenna with it. And guys, there's a Christmas bow on there. You've still got time. What is this, November 24th? I don't know what today is, something like that. So Sorry, probably. you've got a month to buy your wife this car for Christmas if she always wanted a shiny red Thunderbird convertible. Let's take a look under the hood, Brandon. Shit. 
Even replaced all the insulation up underneath the hood here. You really got everything painted well, too, without yanking that engine and transmission out of there, too, didn't you? You say it's got new belts. Belts, Petronics ignition. Yeah, Petronics ignition. Plugs, wires. New plugs, new wires, uh, rebuilt. Did you say it's rebuilt or new brake booster and brake. master cylinder? Yeah, brake booster sent off and rebuilt. Master cylinders. Yeah. Rebuilt. Uh, fuel pump sometime or another. I'm not sure. Yeah, this car, to me, I believe it has got pretty much every available option on it except. You could have had AM, FM, and you could have had leather, where I think that's vinyl. Well, we've got these, we've got this over here to look at the, the original bill of sale, and everything will come with it. So, and we'll also take it for a drive and check everything out. But we can go ahead and close that up, and, and we can walk over here. And... The car was sold new in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm looking for a date here. May 27th, 1964. Marine Crawford Motor Company. 5821 was what the price started out at. With the trade-in allowance and everything was thirty-nine fifty-two. This car would probably cost you around, I don't know, forty, fifty thousand in today's dollars, something yeah. like that. I'd have looked that up. There's a lot of original documentation here with the car. What do we got here? That's a title. I think that's when he bought it. The second owner bought it. Okay, that would have been when the second owner bought it in 1987. So it left Alabama and somehow made its way to Utah. So it's never been in any bad weather. And then this is just all a bunch of repairs that was done through the years. I just saw a title of some sort. That's when you bought it, September 2nd, 1993. Yep. My mom's birthday. Hmm. So, yeah. So, well, Brandon, let's do some demonstration. Let's show them that all of the windows and the convertible top work on the car. And then we'll get it up in the air and... Take it for a drive too. That window a little sticky. Evidently. Looks like it's getting in a bind. Can't go one window. All right, that window needed a little help. I think it needs some grease. Hey, Brandon, stop a minute. So that's all the original trunk lining, isn't it? Or did you replace that? It's Some of the lining's been replaced. Well, it looks pretty dang good. Yeah. The flip motor, 
has been replaced and rebuilt. Rebuilt. Yeah. This the, the filler motor here. Yep. Okay. All righty. We can keep going. I always thought those things needed a helper spring. Look how sleek and precise that is. <laughs> and I think that you guys will all agree with me and Brandon, these cars only really look good with the top down. <laughs> we'll walk around it again like that. Resale Red Thunderbird. It does have working factory air. Did we mention that? That was a four hundred and fifty some dollar, four hundred fifty one dollar option, I think, for air conditioning. All the original wheel covers look excellent. I can tell you guys too that these guys have the best reputation in the area for their body and paint. No pictures or proof, but we did the body is stripped down the bare metal and yeah, came back. So uh, the power seat is probably just back and forth. I think so. So it is working. I think it does go up and down. It does. It's a, it's a, it's a four-way seat. So yeah, the seat works in all four directions. Did not know. And I don't know. I just, I don't know. I may have already said this, but I, I feel like all of them came with this swing away steering. Is there a release for Pull. this? Pull up. Okay. Yeah. And there you go. 48,300 original miles. Do Car all the gauges work, Brandon? Carpet's the only thing that's been replaced in there. Carpet and door panels. You right. did All the seats are original material. The console is original. The only thing that's been replaced is the carpet and the door panels had some cracking on them. So Brandon replaced those. And it does have this working aftermarket radio that was made specifically for this vehicle. So, and was this nameplate here? Is that the original owner? Yep. yep. So I'd say she got that when she was when she bought the car. Is that Leona? Yep. Leona Fridell, It looks like. All the window switches are, have been replaced too, haven't they? All new reproduction window switches. On the console anyways. Yeah. Yeah, just on the console. The rear ones are original. Well, let's get it over here in the other stall and we'll get it up on the lift so you guys can see uh, what it looks like underneath. All right, we got this thing up in the air for you guys. So you can see it's still got all the original undercoating that came from the factory. 
There's no rust in the floorboards. No rust in any of the bracketry. All the brake lines look good. Looks like it's got an older exhaust on it. Did you ever put exhaust on it, Brandon? No. Nope. But there's no holes in it. Rocker, still got all the original spot welds in them. Both sides. So, it's definitely a true surviving rust-free car. All right, we'll get this thing down out of the air and take it for a drive. All right, we're gonna get this thing out so you guys can see it in motion. Then we'll take a ride in it as well. Go up the road and back. It's cold today. It's not a very nice day for a convertible ride. Here he comes. All right, let's go for a ride. <laughs> I think it's only 40 some degrees out here. <laughs> and the wind's already blowing. We got good heat? Yep. Working speedometer. Well, that thing does have a good heater in it, don't it? It helps. Yeah. Are those turn indicators out on the fenders? They're new. Yep. Working. It's smooth for a little sporty car. Well, they're heavy enough. Yeah, that's true. I don't really know where anybody would find a nicer one with this low of miles. It really doesn't need much of anything.
little bit of a hesitation in that carburetor right there. Nice drove. Yeah. Don't drive me off a cliff like Thelma and Louise. <laughs> not ready to go? No, not yet. Oh, the antenna's off there. I forgot we're not going to pick anything up. <laughs> Well, the carpet fit great though, didn't it? Yep. I'm really shocked at how good the aftermarket door panels and carpet looks, really. Yes, yeah, for as expensive as them things was, it scared me too. Yeah. Well, courtesy lights down on the door panels are working. Let's open the hood again so they can see how smooth that engine is. Got a shake in it. Go around here and listen to the exhaust. Does look like the mufflers are a little bit newer. Well, yes. Yeah. I take it those are the original emblems running across the hood, huh? They look brand new. Reproduction. Oh, are they? I do have the originals. You do have the originals? Yep. Anything to go off, we kept. Hmm. Well, let's get it put inside. If you want the top up, I'll put it up out here. Well, that's up to you whether you want the top up or not. No, but... <laughs> if you don't want it collecting dust, you can put it up. <laughs> oh, look at that. He found the antenna. Looks like it. Radio work. Brandon's dad found the antenna. Can you turn the down? Can't. I need to. That's some pretty cool engineering for that age, huh? <laughs> now you got an antenna.
Will the windows go up? Yeah, that quarter window went right up this time. Look at that. Horn works. <laughs> yeah, those cars definitely look better. Well, the only way to have them was with the top down, but boy, when the top's down, talk about a sleek looking vehicle. Hey, Brandon, do the reverse lights work? Yep, reverse lights work. Yeah, we got left turn, we got right turn. We saw the, the brake lights, turn on your parking lights. We got parking lights. And we saw these fender indicators working out there. He said those are new. We got parking lights on the front. Left turn. Did you try the right turn? Yep, we got right turn. We got high and low beams, so all the lights work. You see the dash lights that are on now? Turn the... Yep, all the dash lights are lit up. Can't have music on. Odometer YouTube. works because we went 3.9 miles in that drive. So, honestly, guys, I don't know where you could find a nicer bird. I mean, look at those door jams. This car really doesn't need anything, it's ready to go to the shows. All these rubber seals have been replaced all around. For not doing a Complete teardown. You guys sure didn't miss anything on getting it repainted. It's got the full down arm rest in the back. Convertible top frame looks brand new, too. They didn't repaint that over there, did they? Nope. No? Still got all the original black paint on it. It looks great. The guy kept it in his basement we bought it off of. Yeah. All right. There it is. 1964 Ford Thunderbird convertible. One of, what did I say, 9,198, I think, that was produced. Something like that. With 48,000 original miles. Ready to go. Ready to take it to a car show, guys. So... We looked up in the old car price guide and number one, number two condition falls somewhere between 38,000 and 55,000. Ain't that what we saw? So what do you think, Brandon? Start out around 40,000 is your asking price for it? Sounds pretty fair. Yep. So that's the asking price, folks. 40000 And you can call Brandon himself and talk to him about it. 
any time. What is the number, Brandon? 618-267-3521. I'll put that in the up there too so they can see it. So all right guys, that's it. If you or anybody you know needs to buy their wife a shiny red Thunderbird convertible for Christmas. Here it is. It's ready to go. It needs nothing. So call Brandon. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.